Well, if you watched the show last night, we we're pretty mean to you guys. We teased you that we had a time lapse of the eclipse, and instead all you got was a time lapse of the clouds. Most of us, that's what we saw when it came to the eclipse that occurred on Saturday. But there was one viewer in Springfield that did manage to see the eclipse, and they sent in a video of it, an awesome video. And how they get it? Well, right now, this is taken from a plane. They were a pilot, and what they did is they took their phone, and they put it, those eclipse glasses right over the camera lens, and they were able to see this eclipse taking place on Saturday. A little bit shaky, but I think we can give them a little bit of leniency since they were probably flying and filming at the same time. But an awesome video that someone in Springfield did manage to see it. It's just unfortunate that the majority of us weren't able to because those clouds came in and blocked it. But if you missed out on that partial eclipse, good news, there's going to be a total eclipse occurring in six months. And that's going to be for most of us that we can see. And let's hope that the clouds don't block out that one because if it does, the next total eclipse won't be happening in America until 2044. So let's really hope that we get a good view for that one that's going to be coming in April 8th. And man, temperatures have been cold. That has been the story for this weekend. That's been the story for the last couple of days. We're already at 48 for this 9 o'clock hour. Thankfully, those winds, they've been starting to die down and starting to decrease. And when we get to Monday, that's going to be a story even more where they're really going to start to die down for your Tuesday. And we warned you guys some places could see some rain, not a whole lot of rain, but some sprinkles, some drizzle that's going to be coming. And for us, for really everyone in the Ozarks, that was the case. Just a little bit of rain, enough to be annoying. And we also told you places to the northeast can see a little bit more, and that's what happened where Fort Leonard Wood and Rolla got the bulk of this precept that came in. And man, we stay cloudy all day. And when you're that cloudy, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take a whole lot of lift or trigger to get that rain to fall out. And that's what happened in a lot of places. And tonight we're going to stick with those clouds. We're going to stay cool. We're going to stay gusty. But when we get into night and once we get into Monday, we're going to go into a pattern change that's going to spark things up where temperatures are going to start to get warmer. And not only are temperatures going to start to get warmer, those winds are going to die down, but we're going to have those winds and colder temperatures for Monday morning. Hey, 730 on Monday. I know a lot of kids are going to be getting on the bus at this time. Bring a coat because it's not going to be below freezing, but it's going to feel like below freezing when you factor in these fast winds that we're still going to have. Those fast winds are going to be here for Monday morning. The good news is, is they're really going to start to decrease for Tuesday. Monday, we're still talking about gusts that can be up to 20 but those winds are going to die down come light and variable on Tuesday. Looking at your day for tomorrow, those clouds are going to be pushing out too. Temperatures, I think the majority of us, we're going to hit that 60 degree mark. It's not a major warm up, but it is so nice after we've been experiencing these very cold temperatures to start this warm up process. And why is that? Well, this jet stream, kind of the boundary between warm and cold air, once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to shift and it's going to allow for some warmer temperatures to pump back in the Ozarks. Now, how much warmer are we talking? Not drastically warmer, but at least we're going to get back to seasonally average. On Wednesday, we're going to get up to 71. It was initially looking like Wednesday night was going to have some chances of showers, but most of that rain looks like it's going to be tracking out east. And then on the back side of that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, going to stay warm. It's going to be a nice sunny weekend here in the Ozarks. Looks like a beautiful week in general. I know um, 39 and 38, we, do we need to be worried about moving our plants inside? The, the potential for some patchy frost, mm -hmm. it's going to be right on that border. I'd be more concerned on places if plants are on a patio where that's you have wind that's going to be blowing underneath, okay. they'll cool down. If your plants are close to the house, I think they're going to be safe. But okay. it's getting to that point of the year where we do have to start worrying about frost because those colder temperatures are arriving. Yeah, I have some mums on my patio, so I might need to move them in. They survived in. the last week because um, I forgot to move them in. And I was like, oh, no, they might die, but they made it. So it's maybe not worth the risk. You know, if you can bring them in, why not? Yes, it so. is. All right. Thanks, Matt.